Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Today we are looking at EverQuest Landmark uh, Beta, which is out and available right now. Simon, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. This is the closest that I could make to uh, being a dwarf. Yeah. Well, uh, my character, um, I've had a lot of time to set it up. I've had all the items and resources I need, and I think I look pretty dashing. I think I look pretty much like my character. You've just made a vanilla brand new scrub. Yeah. Uh, with nothing. And so you've not really had... It's not It's not a great likeness, I will admit, but... I can't make a small sort of, like, stocky character. You can't adjust your height or your, like, width. Well, there's going to be a bunch of different races as well added, so maybe one of them will suit you more um, along the lines of EverQuest. So we're in we're in this uh, landmark world. Um, if you hit M, you can zoom out on the map. Oh, God, there's see. a map. Oh, my God. All these... Um, all of these... This area here is um, okay. claimed. So these are people who've grabbed up these bits oh, of God. land. So there's lots of bits of land that we can we can grab and make our, our claim on. So anywhere. Uh, anywhere that, that isn't... isn't red. Right. So if we come over here, for example, let's just get stuck in straight away. Um, this is a beta of a, a, a game which is like a cross between an MMO and Minecraft. It's like a building game, um, and it's also kind of like a... a a creative game. This and it's is also, someone's claim. We're on so, a claim. So someone has built this. Yeah, everything except for that thing we started at there has been built by somebody in this world. So this person has built some giant pillars, um, oh. which they've and, and this wooden floor. Everyone's here. making like massive cubes. The entire size of their claim. I can't help but notice. That's right, because they want to use fill the every whole, space, fill the whole the cube up as, yeah. to the max. So if, as soon as we drop off the edge of this guy's cube, as you can see, it descends into. Uh, a horrible icy. Uh, so maybe this is another claim that someone's made, where they've just dug a giant cube hole. I didn't die. Yeah, there's how do, no. How do I get out of here? Full though? damage. I don't know. Um. How do you get out of there? What do you mean? I don't know how you can get out of there. What do you mean? Come on. I don't know. <laughs> no, hang on. There's got to be a hearth. There's a hearthstone. Hang what? on. Hang on. Hang on. Do you have a hearthstone? I in your must inventory? have. I must have. I don't think you have. You haven't set your spawn point. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're now I... stuck in a hole. Shh. I'm well, not. Look. I'm not. Simon's stuck in oh, a hole. No, no, that's not right. So that someone else has built this over here. I might as well just have a look at this while you're milling around in your um, in your inventory trying to find stuff. Have you got anything? Have you started uh, with anything at all? Okay, I've got a portal shard. Right. So I can travel to the continent's portal style. Okay, so try that. Style, spire. So even. try that. That might take you back to the oh. spawn. Um, Confirm. Oh, my God. So this is the house that someone's built. I literally... I, d I didn't plan this oh. at all. I didn't even know this was here. La Hollow's place. Aha, There's a door. I'm, he I'm here. You can go into his house. Oh, my God. This looks amazing. How do I tell where you are? If you just go to the friends list and you drop down and you right click on me, you can say teleport to friend. So do that. Um, okay. And I'm in this man's house. And it's actually pretty cool. Like, I didn't Ooh. even plan this. Like, there's tons of people have built really awesome things in this game. This guy has actually built something that's not terrible. Um, and we are never going to build anything as good as this um, over the course of our game, I'm sure. Um, oh but you'll see. So he's got all of these different things. He's got an outfitter's table where you can make things. He's Is got he all right with us just wandering around in his house? Workshop, you can make a grappling hook. Oh, look, there's upstairs and... He's made a set of stairs. I think there's a balcony here. Oh, yeah, so he's going to decorate this place out. Oh, this is lovely. This is not bad, is it? So he didn't need to make it this big, though, surely. Well, like, I think he might have wanted to use up all the space on his claim, so he just made a, a floor I, the size of his claim. I think that's a floor, because, you know, you got to have room for, like, a bit of garden. Yeah, uh, you have. Um, oh, my God, how many stories... So how high up can your claim go? Just very to the, high. To the moon? <laughs> look, he's got, like... Look, at the, look on the roof. He's got, like, a, a spiral staircase. But, of course, like Minecraft, there's no actual spirals. It's all just straight lines. Yeah. Well, the way uh, this is all done is quite cleverly done. So I think he's probably had to make this staircase himself, oh. by the way. And they, you can just jump off things. They don't normally... Oh, I did, I did a somersault. Bam, oh, so he's got some nice. flags up here. This is cool. So if you hit the map, where do you want us to set up our claim and our base? Uh, I don't know. Can we go on top of a mountain? Sure. See, there's a massive mountain to the south. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure how we can tell which way the south is. Uh, we just sort of turn around until we're oh, facing oh, it's, the right it... angle. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get up there. I think I can see why no one's put a claim up there. Oh, uh, I see. Is it a little bit steep? All right, let's give it a shot anyway. 
Okay. Uh, well, I do actually have a grappling hook, a which I, I made. So I can actually grapple my way forwards and up this mountain, as you can see. So I might be able to just climb it and then set up the claim for us. Bam. Let's I'm do it. Oh, it's, it's hard work getting up this mountain. Is it? Yeah. Is it actually going up? I am going up, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so you can just climb it. So this game is, at the moment, they've not put uh, monsters in. Right. They've not put in various other things There's as no well. There's no health. Um, oh I don't have goodness. any health. There's no health, um, but there is digging. And most of the time, this game it does rely on you actually harvesting your own resources in order to build with them. So you would have to dig stone and wood and all these things in order to build. You can't, there's no creative mode. Oh my like. God, yes. Let's put our claim here. Okay, <laughs> this sure. is amazing. Uh, this is amazing. Okay. Can we... What? Is it fixed on a grid so we're not sure where it's going to be? Uh, I, I think... I think it is, isn't it? Judging oh no, are we map. in a red claims area? What? We're in a red claims area here. I don't we know can't... what that means. So if you hit M, we're... we can't claim here because there's other claims around. But directly what? south of us, up the other mountain, we should be able to... What do you mean to... there's red claims? What's red? So there's a... there's two claims near too near to us. So someone has claimed something off this side. But the blue one's all right. Uh, no, 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 no. Any area of the ground that's red is not claimable. So if you hit the highlight invalid claims, you'll see. Oh, okay. So we need to climb the mountain to uh... our south. We need to climb a different mountain. View claimable land. Maybe I should... Ah, okay, and now everything's gone red. Yes, right, yeah. Ah. So we need to... We need that's to good. Now I can see. Now, right. while we're going, you should see these deposits in the ground, these orange deposits. They're copper. You're going to need some of that in order to get the first pickaxe, which is a copper pickaxe. And you actually have to um, build and unlock the crafting tools by doing this. So... Right. Have you got a pickaxe in your adventure? I've got a pickaxe, yes. Okay, so if you dig out some copper, uh, just whack it, what? it'll... Am I supposed to be getting a claim first, or...? No, you... Well, if we, we can get... We, we, if it's a bit of a walk towards the claim, we might as well start digging, because we have to dig quite a bit. Okay, um, so... Do I need to... I need to put it on the hot bar somewhere. I've got the founder's pickaxe. Oh, there you go. Good. So that must be because I, ex I gave you my beta key. So therefore, that you. I've also got some outfits, so I can put on. Uh, oh, I am so dashing! Wow, you've actually got outfits, have you? I don't have any outfits. I've also got a legend. I've got a legendary ring. Oh right, okay, and yeah. And a bracer. Equip those. I don't think they do a lot. They're just like. And I got mega extra. pockets that increase my inventory size. Mega pockets. Mega pockets. I don't think I have those either. Uh, or maybe I do. And there's some other stuff, and I'm not sure what they are, but. I guess so. Pickaxes can be they destroy over time, do they? They've got a durability. Mm, no. Why have I got two then? Uh, because one's probably better than the other. Um. I don't know. Or maybe it's the one that I've got equipped. Maybe they do have durability. I don't know. I'm not sure. Who knows? Okay. So on the side of this mountain, there's a bit of like copper, I guess. Yeah. So if you see if you can find it and then dig it out. Ah, there. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Am I automatically picking stuff up? Yep, so just hold down the mouse button and click, and just don't click, just hold it down and drag over the blue land that you want to dig into. Oh my go. god, if this you, is fun. If you click on the le if you click on um, where it says loot next to the chat bar, you'll see what loot you're getting. Um, um, you, you want to try and dig out ah, right, okay. all of the copper. And at the end of the copper vein, you will usually find the next t a little bit of the next tier um, of of, uh, of mineral. So what do I do? Keep digging down. Just keep clicking and keep grabbing up all of the um, all of the all the, the orange bit. Yeah. I think I've got it all. Okay. I can keep digging. So does this repair over time, or is this always going to be here? This hole. This hole will repair itself when you over a certain amount of time. So like after like. Um, after you've not been near it or no one's been near it for a specific amount of time, right. it will heal. The landscape will heal. Or someone else can dig. So I can actually dig into this mountain or... right now, though. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can. And so the way this game actually is set up at the moment is that some of the ore is above ground, like this oh. copper. It's obvious deposits, but some of it is deeper. And some of it is rarer. 
And the idea is that they'll slowly add more and more different ones, and that'll unlock different kinds of building material and stuff like that. Now, I've got some tin ore here. So tin is the next category up. So I've got to the end of this copper vein here, and there's some tin here. Um, now, obviously, building the next tier of pickaxe will let me build, dig faster. Um, but also, you need like certain amounts of materials in order to get these building tools, like I said, that, that make building easier. So one of the tools which I'll show you is the selection tool. Um, and it's actually, it's quite different from building in Minecraft, building in this game. So one thing I wanted to talk about actually that's relevant is that this is this sort of, this is almost almost like an accompanying game to EverQuest Next, which is like an MMO. So you know EverQuest was like the original MMO before World of Warcraft and all that. Um, like, well, it came after Ultima though. Yeah, but I mean, it was the first sort of 3D like the, the kind of the style that we're playing at the moment, you know, this 3D world where you walk around kind of thing. I think it's where like all the people who made World of Warcraft, they all met and played on. Yeah, it's where they got their inspiration from. Oh man, I found your hole. Um, this is weird, isn't it? Yeah, you've dug into the size of a mountain. This is cool. So the idea is that the stuff people build in this game, the best things will actually go into the MMO um, and those people will be rewarded um, for having their stuff go in the MMO, which is kind of cool. Um, also, it's a little bit like Minecraft in that people can, because they're making the MMO in this engine, so the devs are actually building the MMO in Landmark. Right. Um, other people will be able to like make their own MMO effectively. What? In this game. Uh, what? So you can you can make your own adventures, you can make your own castles, you can make your own NPCs, um, you can make your own. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Oh, I'll dig up all this copper. So once you've got enough copper, which will be pretty soon, I would I would guess, um, we can then get, make you a, a new pick. Um, but I've already got, like, a really good pick. That's true. But I think... Uh, okay. I have to show some of the crafting. I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe we do, maybe we don't. Maybe your copper pick will be better than your starting one. Who knows? Maybe your starting okay. pick will just be shit. Do I make? Do I have to make a crafting table? Oh, what's this blue? There's like a blue ore here. Um, I I don't know what that is. It might be a gem. It's or iron. Oh well, there you go. Get some of that. That's useful. That is very. Iron useful. is blue. So yeah. So I don't know if you do have to make a crafting table. I think what you have to do is you have to go back to the portal where you started once you have enough materials, and this includes some wood. So you might have to come over here and cut some wood as well. And then once you have that, um you can then go back to the portal and you can use the forge that's at the portal to create your own forge and then you can put that on your claim and then yeah. you can use your own claim. So I'm I'm digging a tree now. Now, this is pretty cool. Um, Hang on, what, with a pickaxe? No, nope, with, a, with, a, with an actual axe. Um, so all the little chunks of wood, the burled wood is all what? coming off. And there's this rare drop from wood called heartwood, which I've... I'm getting a little bit off, and it's, it drops more often off the bigger trees. So that's the incentive for me to take down these big trees. Bam! And then the tree just explodes into saw sawdust. Oh, amazing! There's still a bit. Oh, this is quite. This is kind of cool. I like how the sort of the veins work. Now, are you sharing um, resources with me? Because it's saying I'm getting iron ore off you. I'm receiving wood logs. So there we you. go. So we're like because we're in a we're, party. We're a team. And we're a team. Aquamarine. We split resources half 50 50. I'm getting gems. Bam. Get gems, they're useful. You don't need a lot of them, but you need a couple to make the special tools. So, the special tools are all the things that people will be seeing in my hotbar that are different. So, I've got this selection tool where I can actually drag out areas of the ground. I can't do it because I'm not in my claim. Um, I've got these things like the heal tool, which lets me heal the, the, the. So, if I made a. If I deleted a chunk of land. I could then heal that back up to, to what its natural generation was. So it looks it looks natural. Yeah. The smooth tool lets you small, smooth the hard edges so you can make these rounded things. So I think that that pillar, for example, that we saw was something that had been smoothed. So it was originally like a, a cube, but it had been smoothed off. Oh, this is nice. It's like a foresty bit here. This is someone else's claim here. We've, I've come across here. Sa saves claim. And yeah, he's got a, a forge in his claim. So I guess when we choose our claim... He'll be able to, we'll be able to put our forge down that I've got brought with me. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Shall we keep going? Oh, you've wandered off. I'm chopping down a tree. Okay. I looked for the biggest tree I could find and now I'm trying to cut it down. Okay, it might take you a while, just saying. I can see there's like a health bar of the tree. <laughs> yeah. 
That's useful. Useful to know. So yeah, the, the the other thing that people are able to do in this is actually to share and trade resources and barter resources uh, for the sort of. I, I'm not quite sure how it works, but I think there's like an in-game currency, and you can sell the stuff that you dig out to other other people, and and you can you can buy resources off them, or um, you can buy like designs and things they've built. Kimber! So if someone built someone builds a really cool like wheel, I don't know, or like um. A really cool sofa or really cool I don't know some some bit of furniture or or something really cool in their house you can actually grab that up buy it off someone how do you see the how do you see all these items I, I don't know if they're implemented yet actually so I don't know whether that's actually in the game yet but that's the that's the plan so the plan is to have like sort of a browsable interface of items that yeah where you can created. search for stuff. So you can like... search nice sofa yeah and it'll show you a sofa. Oh my god, there's so this is like a tree in the shape of a cube. Is this someone's claim? Maybe, yeah. This is weird. <laughs> well, they just built they've made it into a giant tree. It's killing my frame rate, this giant tree. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> See if I can actually can I dig into it? The first thing people do when they have access to a game like this is to break everything. How so, do I get into it? This is sort of this is this sort of game is one of a generation that's sort of coming after Minecraft, you know, in this kind of post Minecraft world. So the idea of this MMO is that it's this grand it's not really even an MMO, you know, it's this it's this creative mode. It's not really even creative mode. It's weird. I don't know what to make of it, but it's cool. And I'll show you when we get to our um when we get to our claim, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see when we choose a claim, when we finally pick somewhere to build. Where there's blame, there's a claim. That's right. So I can build, I can claim anywhere around here where I am now. But I think what I'd like to do is is grab up a mountain. So we'll go up, we'll go up on top, top of this snowy mountain over here. It's nice to have a sort of pinnacle over the, overlooking the world. So is there anything particular you are keen on building? Um, what are you like? What are you thinking about creating? I, I I'm not sure. Just a, a little hut, a little hut, a little, a little hut. home. Make a house a hut. I mean, maybe we should make something small because everyone's making these massive cube buildings. Yeah. Maybe we should make something. Oh, he, there's oh, there's an entrance into his massive tree. <laughs> what the hell? This is weird. <laughs> this is really weird. Um. Oh. So he's planted trees all around the outside. Yeah. So there's like a clearing of stone in the middle. And there's a bizarre canopy of all these branches branches that have interlocked. That hasn't quite made a ceiling, but it's close. He's um, had a good go at it. What a, what a strange building. And he's got his stuff here, his weird sort of tiki bar, whatever this is. Right, well, I've found a mountain and I've climbed it. So... Would you like to come over here and give me advice on where you want the claim to be plonked down? Right, okay, sure. I don't think I can teleport. I think I'm too far away. Oh, right, okay. Um, well, head over. I will see if I can plonk this claim down, and then the magic will happen. Okay, well, there you go. Don't where am I? Careful not to sit on that blade. That looks like oh it's going to hurt. Oh, my God. I'm kneeling on it. You're, um, uh, you're going to lose some important assets. Oh, God.